Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Kira. And we are the, the Keepers, Keepers of the Books. We're here today for a very sad occasion. We're saying goodbye to Elephant and Piggy. From what we understand, the last Elephant and Piggy book was released. It is called The Thank You Book. And it is from Hyperion Publishing. This book is, again, as usual, very cute. <laughs> it's not quite as funny. It is, a, it is funny, but it's more sad. <laughs> Elephant and Piggy is a series beloved by many. My ninth graders will sit there and read it for 15 minutes. They'll read it, you know, several times in a row. They'll go read it to other kids, and before you know it, everybody in the library is laughing. And that is why I am so sad to say goodbye to the series, both in English and um, the ones in Spanish are quite funny as well. Actually, I think they're more funny in Spanish than they are in English. But So today we would like to show you a few recommendations that are similar to The Elephant and Piggy. And the first one we're going to share with you is... Do you want a hug? And because it's the last elephant piggy, of course we're going to want a hug. But Olaf is going to want to play hide and seek first. But will you give him a hug? You'll have to decide for yourself. Hyperion released a new series called the Elephant and Piggy Like Reading Series. These read very similar to Elephant and Piggy. In fact, they have Elephant and Piggy in them at the very beginning. And they read you funny books. This one right here, The Cookie Fiasco, is a really great resource in the classroom to teach fractions or sharing. We Are Growing, like the other one, also has Elephant and Piggy reading it to you. And the, there are eight blades of grass, and they're growing all uniquely. But one particular grass is sad that he doesn't have a nickname. Another book that reads a lot like Elephant and Piggy is The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This one right here, like it says, has no pictures, so it's probably not the biggest contender for the Caldecott Award this year, um, just because there are no pictures. The goal of the entire book is to get you to laugh and to make the person who's reading it seem very absurd and kind of funny. This is a perfect read aloud book, maybe a Bedtime book, if you don't, don't mind riling the kids up a little bit before you say good bed, good night. But the other thing about this is there is an audiobook as well, and the narrator is pretty good on there too. I like audiobooks, and for a kid who's at the age, reading along is a very good way to teach reading skills. For the little bit older age, we have Dogman by Dav Pilkey. In this book, the main character is half dog, half human, and his arch nemesis is a cat. And cat's name is Petey, and he's always causing mischief. Will Dogman save the day? You'll have to find out. This is the guy who brought you Captain Underpants. So you will be laughing, and it is a, com a graphic novel. So it really will incorporate multiple reading skills as the kids learn to interpret and study the pictures as well as the words and put all of that together. And this latest one by Mo Willems is Nanette's Baguette. This one is very cute. Nanette has to go to the store to buy a baguette. But she's very hungry and the baguette is warm and it smells so good. And her friends are along the way. Will she ever get the baguette and get it home? This one is definitely, I think, a contender for the Caldecott this year. Not only has he has Mo Willems won the Caldecott on, I think, three occasions before, but this one is done in a very unique way. He's overlaid cardboard and paper and some of the characters as well and photographed them and overlaid digital images. It is very cute and very unique. Did you know, Kira, that you can find Pigeon in every Mo Willems book if you look hard enough? I didn't. So next time you read a Mo Willems book, look for Pigeon. Now one other cool thing about this book is it repeats the phonic sound of et. Et is a very hard sound for most kids to get, and so this is a great way to practice their et. We have a few 
more books today that we just want to mention that we don't have a copy of that we want to that read a lot like Elephant Piggy. So if you like those, they will be good. The first one's I Don't Want to Be a Frog by Dev Petty. The second one is High Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. And the last one is The Dog House by Jan Thomas. Thank you for joining us today to say farewell to Elephant and Piggy, but to keep them in our hearts forever. And if you haven't read Elephant and Piggy, please go read Elephant and Piggy. My favorite one is We Are in a Book. My favorite is right back there. It's called I'm a Frog. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.